Have you ever seen a black shadow or a movement out of the corner of your eye? I know I have. And maybe when you see something like that, it feels scary. You don't understand it. You want it to go away. And I get it. But today I'm going to share with you what's happening when you have this experience so you can move beyond feeling scared of it or apprehensive and actually just being in a really calm, relaxed place. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Melissa. Welcome to the Communicate with Angels channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. I share new videos every Wednesday. So I'd love to have you be part of this spiritual community. So what is it when you see a black shadow, something out of the corner of your eye, a movement? Well, what's really happening there is that around planet Earth, we do have energies. And why this has happened is because sometimes when people pass on, they're confused, they don't understand they're dead, they feel they have unfinished business on planet Earth, so they're staying anchored to this energy of planet Earth. So spiritually, because that those souls are close by, they're within you know a few miles of planet Earth, we can feel that pressure and we can feel that influence. A lot of times they're really just confused and they're looking for direction and they're not trying to harm anybody, right? So, but those are often the souls that you might see in this situation when you're seeing a movement. So as you become more sensitive, as you develop your intuition, or if you're just naturally already very tuned in and sensitive and you feel things strongly, you start as you are on the spiritual journey, you'll start to tune into energies and maybe even see them. Some of you won't and that's okay. But this was something that I noticed a few years back as I really was diving into spirituality and myself and sharing it with other people. I became very, very tuned in and psychic and I started to see these ghosts, if you want to call it that. I never would see like a real face or anything and it was kind of like a flash out of the corner of my eye but I was definitely seeing it and sometimes it looked quite black and dark and sometimes it just kind of looked like a movement flashing across okay so that's what's happening these are souls who are looking for direction and because you're tuned into it you're starting to see it with your eyes now, they're actually always there. It's just a lot of times people aren't sensitive enough to see it. So you can even pat yourself on the back for the fact that you're really, really psychic now. And I want to reassure you that there's nothing to be afraid of. What we want to do is to help these souls heal and move on with their angels. Their angels do not leave them behind. Here's the thing, though. Angels don't impose. There's a lot of people on planet Earth that want to impose on you tell you what to do, criticize you, right and wrong. And you might do that to other people too, actually, like many of us do without realizing it. Our angels have moved beyond that state of consciousness and they're just pure love and they're pure acceptance. So if this soul wants to remain confused, their angels will encourage them, but not force them into it. So if that soul is very, very confused, they might not want to acknowledge that their angels are there. They might think it's something else. They're just really, really confused, but they will see their angels as lights. And so what you can even do is you can say out loud, you don't belong here, follow the lights. And a lot of times even just saying that is enough because as soon as they hook up with their angels and acknowledge their angels presence, their angels will help them to heal and to get the understanding. But right now they're resisting it. It's sort of like, you know, your angels are way up here with this really high vibration and they have a low vibration and they're just not paying attention to their angels, just like some of us aren't right. <laughs> but you know, you're not at the level of an angel yet, but maybe your vibration is a little higher than this confused soul. So it's easier for you to communicate with that soul than it is for your angels to get through. So you can be a healer and a medium and just by simply just saying that, hey, I, I see you, you don't belong here, connect with those lights. And then that soul has found their way home. And that's just a beautiful healing. One thing I wanna encourage you is don't be scared, be confident and empowered. 
this is something that is a good sign that you're becoming more sensitive and more psychic and it means that you are also more sensitive to the really positive messages of your angels as well as you open yourself up spiritually so as we become more psychic and more sensitive we do need to be aware that sometimes we're more tuned into negative quote-unquote things and so the solution to that is to always do the spiritual cleansing technique so go to communicatewithangels.com forward slash cleansing and you can learn a method of raising your vibration and this way you feel relaxed and empowered and you're tuned in but you're not susceptible to being influenced like when you're not cleansed it kind of expands your aura so that you're aware and you're relaxed and you're centered and that's your best tool with this spiritual journey so go ahead and download that video right now and i'll see you there